am 17 News. This is Alina Bothes, Allison Weatherman, and McKenna Powell. Today we bring you many important announcements over some of our local Press Lancer students who have a big impact on our little community. School lunch menu options, career and military information, college preparation tips, and some exciting news about an inspiring entrepreneur who opened her own coffee shop right here in our little community. Speaking of community, Lily, will you tell me more about what those Crest Lancer students have done? I am more than happy to, McKenna. Two Crest Lancer students, Kayla Herbert and Brooklyn Jones, have recently completed their second Christmas clothes drive, and they hope to pass the event on. In this event, they gathered various clothing and useful items, and then invited the community to come shop. They could come and fill bags that they, of clothing that they may need. The community is very grateful for this event, and they hope to see it continued in the future. It is amazing to see Crest students stepping up as leaders to bring the community together. Speaking of service, here's what the lunchroom is serving up this week. You can view our school lunches on the bulletin board, on our school website, or on the office TV each day. School lunches are always a hot debate, so earlier this week, I interviewed Crest students on their favorite lunches. What's your all-time favorite lunch? Most definitely Crispito. What is your favorite school lunch? I eat cookies. Cookies beef patty. What is your favorite school lunch? Um, probably the chicken wraps, the fries. Um, what's your favorite school lunch? Uh, Crispy What's your favorite lunch? Mm, definitely strong bully. My favorite lunch is the beef and noodles. Yum! Lunch ladies work so hard to provide a good meal for students, and it's just one of the careers you can go into. Personally, I want to become a civil engineer. What about you, McKenna? I want to be a veterinarian. There are many careers that you can choose from, and if you're unsure, there are many helpful quizzes and websites that you can go to. For example, Zello, you take a quiz, and it matches you to careers you'd be a perfect fit for. Then provides much more information in the Explore tab. If you're still not sure which one of these career options is right for you, there are many more options available, like going into the military. Your first step into going to the military is as simple as talking to your school counselor or contacting your recruitment office. The military offers many benefits, one of them being payment towards college or potentially another career. College is always difficult to prepare for. Ivy Wise has five simple prep tips for college. Plan ahead, find your college fit, maintain a good GPA, get involved, and build relationships. These tips are a great start into following your dreams. One person following her dreams is Kristen Boone. She's recently gone promoting her own photography business to owning and operating a coffee shop. And man, can I say, she makes some great coffee. My favorite to stay grounded is a frosted lavender. What about you, Lily? I just like to keep it simple with a nice hot mocha. What's your favorite, McKenna? I like some of her other products like her coconut lemonade and her muffins. With her making so much coffee, we asked her what her favorite drink was. Oh, that favorite uh, drink yeah. is an Americano, which is like a black, pretty much like a black coffee. It's espresso plus hot water. So pretty boring. But <laughs> so what was the inspiration for Stay Grounded? The inspiration for Stay Grounded. Well, a long time ago, my sisters and my mom and my grandma had this idea that we should have a coffee shop <laughs> at the corner of her house, a little drive-thru in her retirement and then so that's where it started we always thought we even had like a pinterest board we were gonna what were we gonna call it i don't remember but just this it was just like this idea dream that i don't think we actually thought we would you know fulfill but so that started it and then i just felt it in my heart that our community needed a place to talk to each other and love on each other and just we then interview Kristen, getting more insight to her inspiring story. Um, I would say the only huge difference that's maybe a little harder is that the coffee shop requires me to physically be here from really early in the morning until late afternoon versus the photography career was more home-based except for shoots. So that's probably the hardest part is learning how to like look like a, a live human and come to work <laughs> to serve people really early in the morning versus, you know, just so much coffee at home at my desk. Being in such a small community, how does you, have you seen community support? 
Oh man. So many ways. They just from day one they've just been supportive. Um, and they do that like every single day, which I wasn't sure how that would go. Um, so that's been amazing. But the community has helped also. So like any any struggle that happens here, the floors flood, um, you know, anything, there's always community members that show up. They want to help. They want to help clean. They show up to clean up on Friday afternoon. Just awesome. Just super supportive. So where do you see Stay Grounded in five years? Stay Grounded in five years. Um, honestly, about the same. Here, thriving, full of laughing people. Yeah, about the same. I find it so heartwarming to see people following their dreams. Stay Grounded connects deeply to the community. Anytime you enter Stay Grounded, you can always count on the feeling of warm smiles, laughter, and the feeling of hope. If you want more information about Stay Grounded, check out their Facebook or just head on in. Thank you for tuning in with us today, and we hope to see you again tomorrow as we cover more on inspiring stories, community service, and all you need to know on a daily basis. This is Eliana Blafus, Allison Weatherman, and McKenna Powell. Sam 17 News. We'll see you tomorrow.